from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm James Tully. Greg D watching your forecast. He'll have that for you coming up. But first, here are your top headlines happening today. The city of Tampa is talking about noise again, and the city council expected to take a final vote. The council talking about a plan to reduce sound in the channel side district. Council members say they're considering the needs of restaurants and bars and the needs of residents living there. Some have complained about the noise. The plan would look for excessively loud noises in the area, but they would not use a decibel reader to figure out who's in violation. Fines wouldn't start until until after a five minute warning to bars and restaurants. Back in 2020, we told you that Park and Rec faced a lawsuit in Channel Side over its noise. We'll keep you up to date on how that vote goes down. In Pasco County, experts are investigating a hole that opened up in the middle of a Zephyr Hills Road. We sent our crews out to Chauncey Road right near Copeland Drive. The county says the hole already four feet deep. The county shut the road down as a precaution. They did call a geotechnical team out to see if it's stable, they're investigating what might have caused it and whether or not it's a sinkhole. Federal officials looking to fix problems that airlines say could impact flights coming into Florida. Some of the biggest airlines say issues at an air traffic control station in Jacksonville could cause major disruptions to flight routes this summer. It was something airlines have cited as reasons for delays. Now the FAA will send more people to work in that air traffic station, which helps flights all across Florida. In a Spirit Airlines call to investors, they said they actually had to cut some future flights to Florida because of issues with air traffic control. The FAA also said they'll do a better job to give airlines a heads up about space launches after they've caused delays and cancellations on flights when they are caught off guard. Deputies in Hillsborough County want you to look at this video. They say it shows thieves taking trailers from a business. The thieves believed to be involved in four different trailer thefts starting in March. Detectives looking for two suspects. They think the truck here used is a tan Chevy Silverado with 17 inch stock aluminum wheels. If you recognize the two men or the truck seen here, call the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. The Artemis One mission back on track for NASA after a series of issues during dress rehearsals last month at Cape Canaveral. NASA's talking to the media today at 3.30 to talk about the next steps for Artemis One. The space agency is going to discuss the next dress rehearsal, which should come in early June. The rocket will eventually take astronauts to the moon. Just a few more kinks to iron out, Greg. There's been quite a few in that program, but we got to work through all of that. It's a brand new rocket system before they even start to think about sending people up to space. Low 90s this afternoon. It's going to be a hot one with the humidity up and dew points in the mid to upper 60s. It'll feel like the mid 90s during the afternoon. And unfortunately, there won't be any relief from any rain. Rain chances below 5% with really light winds. There's some rain that I'm talking about though as we head into the weekend. Updates on my Twitter feed at Greg D. Weather, James. Thanks, Greg. Get your news 24-7 right here on ABC Action News Plus.